so this is the next concept that is the related to the threshold voltage okay so here let us see first what is threshold voltage what does this mean so threshold voltage is represented by vt so here it is vt it should you should be writing it as v suffix t okay so definition of this threshold voltage so here they have given threshold voltage or vt is the minimum gate to source voltage needed to create a conducting channel between source and drain okay so this vt you could be uh, simply uh, naming it as gate to source voltage that is vgs okay vgs is equal to vt uh, where it is a minimum gate to source voltage which is needed to create a conducting channel that is one conducting path with respect to the source and drain terminals of a transistor okay so that is the meaning of the threshold voltage so th there are some factors which affect the threshold voltage okay some factors which affect the formation of this threshold voltage in the gate to source uh, uh, terminals with respect to the channel conduction in the source and drain materials so some of the factors are first is gate material then we have gate insulator material oxide thickness channel doping interface impurities and source to substrate voltage that is vsv okay so these six factors uh, these six factors would be affecting the threshold voltage with respect to the materials provided in the transistor okay next the temperature effect as temperature increases the magnitude of this vt decreases so this is the effect for temperature for uh, uh, threshold voltage that is about minus 4 millivolt per degree, degree celsius for high doping whenever we have high doping concentration so this is the temperature here the range of temperature then about minus 2 millivolt per degree celsius for low doping okay so these things you should be noting down next let us see about the threshold voltage and adjustment in case of the mos transistor sometimes it is necessary to adjust the native vt of a mosfet some of the two common methods are in used here are ion implantation first one adjusting doping concentration nearer to the uh, silicon silicon dioxide interface next is dual layer insulator combine si3 n4 the, uh, that is where epsilon r that is relative perm permittivity is nearly equal to 7.5 and sio2 that is relative permittivity is uh, uh, nearly equal to 3.9 the effective epsilon r increases around 6 making the gate electrically more effective okay Equivalent had to having thinner SiO2 layer when the uh, effective or epsilon uh, permit, uh, permittivity, relative permittivity increases, the, uh, the, the silicon dioxide layer would be getting thinner, okay. Increasing the gate capacitance, okay. Next is field threshold adjustment. To prevent unwanted inversion between the transistors, you should be using one is thick oxide and heavy doping or implant. This ensures that only the area under the gate would be getting inverted, okay. Next, uh, P type tra transistor is over. Okay. Next is body effect. Okay. Or substrate bias effect. Okay. So, this is there in the syllabus and which is very, very important here. Okay. Let us see that now. Body effect. In most of the CMOS circuits, all MOSFETs share a common uh, substrate usually connected to ground. Okay. So, substrate voltage is normally the same for all the devices in case of body effect but in some cases for example NAND gate if you consider the example of a NAND gate MOSFETs are connected in series okay this causes the source voltage of upper transistor to rise resulting in the source to substrate voltage that is VSC, VSB becomes non-zero it won't be equal to zero okay for example if you take the bottom transistor VSB1 that is equal to zero volt but the upper transistor won't be equal to zero volt okay in case of this body effect okay so this is the simple circuit diagram of to represent the body effect where we have used uh, two transistors here if you observe very carefully these two are the pmos transistors here okay where we have two gate terminals uh, which are uh, surrounded with the two of the threshold voltages one which is represented as vt1 and vt2 with the condition given that vt2 is greater than vt1 uh, as you observe in the diagram you could observe that the, from the first gate voltage to ground, the VT2 voltage is greater than that of VT1. From the diagram only, it is uh, uh, visible okay, with the uh, body terminal, which is interconnected to each other. Okay? So, this is the basic body effect. Next, in this body effect, what happens when VSB, that is, source to substrate voltage increases? Okay, What would be the changes appearing with respect to the body terminal? 
under normal conditions that is when vgs is greater than vt the depletion layer width remains constant and charge carriers are pulled into the channel from the source okay depletion layer widens between the channel and the substrate more charge is trapped in the depletion region to maintain charge neutrality the char channel charge decreases this causes an increase in the threshold voltage that is we could be concluding by saying that the threshold voltage would be basically varying that it would have to be increasing that is the first threshold voltage with respect to the first uh, uh, VT1 in this case uh, VT1 and VT2 it would be getting changed with respect to the transistor positioning in series okay for example we have taken in the NAND gate order okay yeah so with that with those cases the threshold voltage would be getting varied one important point to be noted the substrate voltage effectively adds to the channel potential making it harder to form the channel okay so this is basically what uh, these are the things which happens when the vsv that is source to substrate voltage would be getting increased uh, one main character uh, uh, factor you could be remembering is the transistor positioning would be uh, varying and the voltage that is threshold voltage would be uh, would be increasing or decreasing with respect to the change in the vsv okay next let us see the effect in threshold voltage the new effective threshold voltage considering the body effect is given by vt equal to vt0 plus or minus gamma of square root of source to substrate voltage vsv okay here vt is the effective threshold voltage vt of 0 is the threshold voltage when the source to substrate voltage is equal to 0 this gamma is called as the body effect coefficient which depends on the substrate sloping level typically the value of gamma uh, varies from in the range of 0 0.4 to 1.2 next is vsb that is source to substrate voltage the plus or minus sign uh, plus is used for nmos and minus is used for pmos okay this plus or minus sign represents that okay because we are using uh, if we use uh, nmos or pmos transistor the sign would be either plus or minus okay next higher the vt lower the current and slower the switching okay this is one condition which you need to be knowing body effect leads to performance degradation degradation means the performance would be getting varied when uh, body effect is applied body effects mainly the performance is uh, slightly decreased okay if we, the body effect happens especially in series connected logic circuits uh, for example you have seen just now right the two transistors when they are connected in series the body effect comes to the picture and this performance would be getting degraded in this case which you have just discussed right okay now the summary of this body effect expression what and all are the key points which you need to be taking away first is when VSP increases, VT also increases. For NMOS, this means the gate needs to be at the higher voltage to turn the transistor on. Next is for PMOS, the threshold voltage becomes more negative as VSP increases. Okay, so these three are the simple takeaways or the summary of this body effect. Okay, so this was about complete body effect with the circuits and uh, explanation could be. Uh, pausing the video and uh, could be taking down this explanation if you want. Okay. Next is 